welcome to Storytime. My name is Liz and as always it's lovely to have you with me today wherever you are watching in the big ride one world. I hope as always you are feeling good today. Now today we're going to be reading a wonderful story but before we start I have a question I'd like to ask. Have you ever found mm, maybe a piece of string or some thread or a piece of wool and thought hmm I want where this belongs and have given it a tug to find out. Well, that's exactly what happens to this little girl in this story because today we're going to be reading Little Lou and the Woolly Mammoth and the author and illustrator is Paula Bowles. So let's find out what happens in the story. Little Lou sat on the floor, surrounded by an enormous muddle of toys. She was bored and wanted a friend to play with. Suddenly, something colourful wiggled past her and disappeared into the muddle. So little Lou dug down amongst Ollie Owl, Sock Monster and Stripey Whale and found the loose end of a long woolly thread. Being a curious kind of girl, Little Lou decided to give it a tug. But the thread wiggled away, so she followed it instead. It wound around and around, it looped up and down, and twisted and tangled in lots of knots. Little Lou followed the thread overhead and around the bend, until finally it ended in a monstrous tangled mess. But what could it be? It's a good question. What do you think it could be? Ooh, it could be. She gave it a tug and another and another. And then she heard a snort and she felt a shake and then a shudder. The big woolly tangle slowly stretched and little Lou saw a huge pair of ears, two blinking eyes, and one long, long trunk, because it was an enormous woolly mammoth, the size of a bus and weighing a ton. Little Lou thought it was best just to run. She dashed this way and that way and all over the place. And the woolly mammoth chased her in a in the zigzagging race. Stomp, stomp, stompity stomp went his footsteps behind her. His feet were big enough to squish her, his trunk almost long enough to catch her. But as they zigged and as they zagged, the woolly mammoth got snagged. Stomp, stomp, stompity stomp. And then he began to become undone. What do you think? He then started to shrink and he got smaller. Stomp, stomp, stompity stomp. And smaller. Stomp, stomp. And smaller until. Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. He was tiny, cute, and cuddly. But as little Lou squealed with delight, the tiny woolly mammoth ran away in fright. Wait, come back, called little Lou. And they zigged and they zagged until they could zigzag no more. And the poor woolly mammoth trembled and shook as little Lou bent down and picked him up from the floor and gave him a great big snuggle. Why, they were both just lonely and in need of a cuddle. So little Lou and the mammoth each had a new friend and who knows what else they'll find the next time they follow a woolly loose end. <laughs> well we've come to the end of that story and in, it, when she pulled the thread it was a woolly mammoth and I suddenly realised as I was reading the story. My jumper looks quite similar to the woolly mammoth so I'm just going to check to see if there's any threads coming out from this jumper and if they are I'm going to give them a tug and I wonder 
who are seeing of my adventures. Well, thank you so much for listening to the story. And until we meet again, remember, take care. As always, look after yourself. Keep washing your hands, really important. And just as important is always to keep smiling. Bye for now.